January 2016 saw a continuation of a buyer's market in the city of Calgary. We had numerous opportunities for buyers to go out and have a look at product that didn't exist at the same time last year. So it's very difficult to predict the future. But it's no secret that increased inventory, decrease in sales, continue to put downward pressure on pricing in the city of Calgary. The silver lining for buyers and for investors is that we have more product on the market, allowing them to take their time and to make better decisions and not have to rush like they have been in the last few years. With energy prices falling into the low 30 range, this has impacted consumer confidence. We combine this with the fact that the labour market continues to demonstrate soft conditions, and this is overall impacting housing demand. Overall, sales activity in January remained lower than the levels we saw last year and are well below typical levels that we see in January. Now, while we've had weaker sales activity, the level of new listings in the market did contract, but it wasn't enough to compensate for that overall low level of sales. At the same time, when we're in these buyer market conditions, and it's been in buyer's market conditions for several months now, this has continued to cause that downward pressure in pricing. The benchmark price declined by over 1% compared to December levels and 3% lower than what we saw recorded in January of last year. Now, while prices have continued to contract, it's important to note where they've come from. We do still continue to remain higher than the levels we saw in January 2014. So we haven't given back all of those gains that we've previously recorded. Now, with that being said, keep in mind what's happening in different districts of the market. What we've seen happen is in the apartment sector, we've had far steeper price declines. This shouldn't come as a surprise as really that market entered into those buyer market conditions at the midpoint of last year. There also continues to be differences in the detached market if you're talking the under 500,000 segment of the market versus the higher end of the market. In 2016, sellers are going to have to be more nimble. The market is going to tell sellers a story in the calendar year 2016 and they need to listen and react very quickly. Buyers are being afforded the luxury of much more inventory than they've seen in the last few years. We have more selection, buyers have the ability to take their time to make decisions that's best for them and their families and where they want to be living in the city.